Hey what's up everyone, welcome to Profit Data. So today I'm gonna discuss about WebSocket Market Data Streamer using Upstock CPI in Python. Okay, so before getting into the coding part, uh, we must have some of the prerequisite thing. That is you should have an Upstock trading account, you should have an Upstock CPI and you should get ready with access token. Okay. So for if you don't have an account, you can follow link in the description or you can visit www.profitadweb.com Have an account. Okay. And if you want to create the API, you can visit this post. I will give link in the description. Okay. Just watch the video and then go for the code. Okay. So just ready with the code and most of the things are in HTTP request while generating the access token. So I must say that you should take a look. Okay, and you should go for the Upstocks uh, API documentation as well. Okay, there are a number of things are there which you can explore. Okay, so first of all, we will try to get the uh, instrument symbols. Okay, so for that, what we can do, we can say import pandas as pd. Okay, and in which we will call the instruments uh, in which uh, we required uh, the uh, you know uh, pandas to read the csv file in which we call an url uh, to get that url what you can do just visit upstocks api okay and they say instruments okay and then if you scroll a little bit you will get a complete as a complete file okay so after if you click right right side you just say copy link address so what happened you get you will get a link just try to paste so you will get a url get that url for yourself okay and paste it here now what happened we are ready with our instruments and then next we have to get this instruments uh, to be stored okay so what we can say uh, to underscore csv and uh, this csv will be uh, called in instruments dot csv and in this case i don't require uh, index because if i read once again uh, it will accumulate more so it's better to avoid and i will just go with the run method okay so if it is finished means we got our instrument symbol see here our folders are there and we have generated the instruments and this is the folder where i've been already generated the access token in my previous video okay so i'm gonna utilize the same so that is also you can do so we have done the instruments now what happens so suppose if we required anything uh, we required an instrument key okay so only the left hand side we required so we will like you know take an observation and we will like you know get some of the symbols so this will be nifty 50 and for nifty bank or other things we can explore okay so we can check okay so uh, i will give a simple method so suppose if i am looking for as uh, this nifty symbols okay so what i can do is just go with the nifty uh, try to find it out and we will get an instrument key so this will be uh, you know as a previous code for other uh, broker what happens you have to give exchange with uh, token and in this case what happens you just have uh, there is there is you know method is there where exactly they have been utilizing what kind of exchange and what type of segment we are going with a token unit to uh, you know talk about okay and uh, for uh, for your uh, uh, index what you have to do you have to call with uh, you know uh, as we have seen this so what happens here nsc underscore index will be there okay and uh, we should refer an or method and after war or what we have to call uh, we can call this as a uh, symbol itself okay so we'll say as a nifty uh, 50 okay and after this one more uh, thing which we can call is nifty bank okay so this is how you can refer the instrument dot csv okay so you just try to get it from here or if you download uh, a zip file you will receive so 
instead of that you can follow this stuff so we require bank nifty okay and that's need to be called in a list okay so uh, we require to be called in a list so for the list we will say as instrument instrument under co underscore keys okay and we will give it in a list so right now everything is perfect so we are able to achieve this stuff and i think we won't require this one as of because we are set to and uh, one more thing you can do is you can call uh, the uh, upstocks client and what do you want to do with that is up to you okay uh, with the pandas okay other things you can try to achieve but the work is done so i'm taking out and straight away i go with the upstocks underscore client okay so uh, to get this uh, you can go with uh, pip install okay you can say as upstocks upstocks minus python minus sdk okay software development kit so this is you need to do uh, for installation of uh, this library and the code is already given in the github but i will make it simple okay so you can follow this code import upstocks underscore client okay and after this what happens uh, just give it the access token so it is simple it contains in this folder only so i will just open and read We'll try to see. So we'll get once again the access token that we are good or not. Okay, so we are able to read the access token and uh, we'll give it this access token uh, in a required stuff okay so we are calling the websocket now uh, so what we can do we can straight away call in a, a main itself and the uh, first thing is required to configuration so we say config equals upstocks underscore client and what we have to call is configuration configuration parenthesis and the next we required uh, the token so I access token is already mentioned so we'll say config dot access underscore token plus plus access token okay simple now next we have to call the market data streamer okay so we'll say as a streamer equals uh, what we have to say the upstocks client dot market data streamer okay in this uh, we have to uh, the call the client as well okay so we'll say upstocks underscore client dot api client okay and uh, we have to give this api client a configuration and after that we need to call in instruments or two ways you can get okay a uh, full mode and you can just call the symbol name ltp uh, this uh, last added time and you can get the close price as well okay so for that you have to say ltpc okay and if you want to refer further just check it out the github page or otherwise you can refer websocket this api docs 
so I think here we are good and we will call one more define model so we have to say streamer dot on in which we have to give a message okay and uh, that should be referred on underscore message yes and uh, next we will call the streamer dot connect okay so here we are done and uh, we will define one more module uh, to pen, uh, print our text which will be on underscore message what we have called earlier and we all we have to say is uh, print message so simple as that okay and after this the same name and just call the main parenthesis and just run Okay, so this is uh, an indentation method. Okay, so let's we'll see. So we need to check something is not right. So it's not instruments, it's a case. Okay. Okay, so we got the thing which is required. Okay, so we are perfect. We are able to call the index bank nifty, nifty 50 as well the option which we are looking for okay so same thing which you can try okay so i leave up to you uh, thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe if you have any doubt regarding this video please do comment below if you have any other queries or requirements please do contact me there by whatsapp thank you